Okay, so in this video, um, we're going to talk about the applications of piecewise functions. So we're going to be able to write an equation for a piecewise function given a word problem and apply that equation um, in order to create um, an equation that we can solve for a value. So a lot of the times we can use piecewise functions for things such as cell phone plans, admission tickets, um, and rental rights. So, for example, um, for an hourly and overtime wage, right, you have a summer job that pays time and a half for overtime. So, working more than 40 hours a week, you could earn 1.5 times more than your regular hourly wage. So, there would be, you get your hourly wage, which is part of it, and then you get this other piece that's your time and a half. Um, another example for maybe a sales um, or buying in bulk, right? So your club is selling t-shirts as a fundraiser. The wholesale t-shirt company you're ordering from charges $10 per t-shirt for the first 75 orders. So that's your first piece, right? And then if you order more than 75 and up to 150, the cost drops $750 per shirt. So that's your second piece. And then anything after 150 will cost $5 per shirt, which would be your third piece. Okay, so you have multiple ways of seeing these examples. So we're going to break down um, one of our big pieces. Um, so we're going to break it down into three pieces before we look at it as a whole. So the first piece of the equation says that a sales company pays uh, its employees a combination of salary and commission. So an employee earns $15,000 of salary plus a 3% commission. So we're going to write the equation for that. So they're going to earn on standard, um, so $15,000, okay, without making a sale, plus they earn a 3% commission, so we write that as 0 0.03, um, based off of whatever they sell. sell. So I'm going to make that S. And that's going to equal um, their salary or what they earn. So let's make that E. Okay, so again, I got that from the $15,000 salary plus a 3% commission, right? And that's 0 0.03 when we write it as a decimal. So that's their first piece. Okay, the second piece of the equation says at the same company, an employee B earns $18,000 of salary and a 4% commission, so 0 0.04. Um, so again, they're going to earn $18,000 plus a 4% commission off of what they sell. Okay. So this is the second piece. The third piece says that an employee earns $20,000 worth of salary plus a 5% commission, so 0 0.05. Um, so here they would earn $20,000 plus a 5% commission based off of what they sell. So here is it as one big whole. Right? So a, an employee with sales less than 100000 earns a $15,000 salary plus a 3% commission. An employee with the sale over 100000 um, and up to 200000 will earn an $18,000 salary and a 4% commission. An employee who earns more than $20,000 or $200,000 in sales will earn $20,000 salary plus a 5% commission. So notice that now we've put restraints on when they get each of those pieces that we just talked about. So I'm going to place in the pieces that we had created, right? So we had a $15,000 salary plus 3% commission based off of what they sold. Okay, we had a $18,000 salary plus a 4% commission off of what they sold, and then a $20,000 plus a 5% commission based off of what they sold. So these were the pieces that we created before. We just got to create our restraints on them. So 
the first piece there says sells less than a hundred thousand and earn um will earn fifteen thousand dollars so if we sell less than our sales was less than or equal to a hundred thousand dollars okay then the next piece says that the employee sells over a a hundred thousand and up to and including two hundred thousand dollars so we've got the hundred thousand dollars where it's going to be less uh, greater than and then we've got less than or equal to two hundred thousand dollars as our next restraint okay and then lastly um it says if an employee earns more than okay two hundred thousand dollars they're going to earn that last piece that we created so s is greater than 20 or two hundred thousand dollars okay and then out in front we've got f of s because that's what we're plugging in equals all of our pieces so we had already created those pieces when we looked at the pieces individually um, we just added those restraints in there okay Let's try a different type of example. So in this example, we have a movie rental company charges a flat fee of $10. That's important, right? They're charging a flat fee of $10, okay, um, to use their movie rental service. In addition to that, you must pay a fee per day you rent the movie. If you keep a movie two days or less, okay, so that's important, two days or less, that's going to be our restraint, it's going to cost 50 cents per day. If you keep a movie longer than two days, so longer than two days, it's going to cost one dollar per day. So now we're going to write our equation. So the first piece said two days or less, so that's including two days. So I have D is less than or equal to two. Okay, and the second piece said two days or more, so days are greater than two, okay. They have a flat fee of $10, so they're adding $10 no matter what for both of these, okay. For the first one, it says two days or less, it costs 50 cents per day. So that's going to be 0.5 per day, okay. The second one, they're charging a dollar, which is a dollar per day, okay? And then that's going to be the cost per day for each piece, okay? So our third example is also talking about another rental company. This time it's a car. Right? A car rental company charges a flat fee of $45 to rent a car. So again, that's important. In addition to that, you must pay a fee per day you rent. So if you keep the car for three days or less, it's going to cost $7 per day. And if you keep a car longer than three days, it's going to cost $5 per day. So first piece here is to write a piecewise function based off of that. So for our days, right, if it was less than or equal to three, we had a piece. And if it was greater than three, we had a piece. Now their flat fee was $45, so both of them have 45 plus. For the first one, it was three days or less cost $7 per day, so that's seven per day. For the second one, it was five per day. So that's the cost based off of days. So now we have our piecewise function. But now we're going to use that to evaluate some equations. So it says, how much does it cost to rent for three days versus four days? Okay, so if we plug in three days, right, we're plugging it into the top piece. So for three days, cost of three days, we would have 45 plus seven times three which is going to give us a cost of $66 per day. Now, if we do that second piece there for four days, now we're plugging it in to the second equation. So that's going to be 45 plus 5 times 4. 
uh, we get $65 per day. So notice that it costs less for us to rent the car for an extra day. So you might as well take that car and rent it for an extra day. Now companies tend to do this because they know people don't rent cars for very long. So they're trying to get their most money out of people by making them uh, the prices for lower rentals um, more expensive. This last example, I would like you to try on your own. Okay, so take a couple seconds, uh, I mean, a couple minutes to try and see if you can do it. Um, I will pop the answers up there, and if you have any questions on them, please ask me in class. So pause the video here, try to see if you can work it out on your own. All right, so if you worked it out on your own, you would have come up with the equation. You could have had a different variable in there, um, but 419 per bag was between 0 and 6. Now, this restraint of 0 is an important um, because we can't have it less than 0 bags, especially when we're buying something, okay? Um, and then um, B greater than 6 was 379 times the bag. And then here you just had to plug it back in, right? So for the first one, you plugged in 2. So the first equation, you got 838. And for the second one, the 6 bags was included on the second one. So it's going to be 2274. Again, if you have any questions, please see me in class.